The administrative division ensures progress towards accomplishing action improvement items outlined in the City of Greer's strategic plan. Some of these accomplishments include new and diverse programming, upgrades to equipment and park amenities, supporting community events, distributing customer service surveys to solicit feedback for improvement, long-term planning to ensure prosperous and adequate growth for our department, and utilizing social media platforms to promote our programs and events. 2019 saw a dramatic increase in our athletics participation. We had over 2,700 participants in our athletic programs and the top graph reflects the yearly increase since 2013. The pie chart on this slide illustrates the breakdown of participants by sport in our athletics division. Youth baseball is our largest program. However, youth basketball and flag football are growing rapidly. Greer Parks and Recreation now offers a completely in-house 6, 7, and 8, and 9, 10 youth basketball league, and this is maximum capacity for Victor Jim. Our youth flag football league, which is in its second season of competition, is now completely in-house due to the volume of participants. These two new programs are trending, show continued growth, and they have add diversity to our athletics program inventory. The grand opening of the newly renovated Center for the Arts and surrounding park was held on September the 21st. Entertainment and classes were held inside along with entertainment on the amphitheater stage and food trucks in the park. Approximately 2,000 people attended the event and tours were given on Sunday, September the 22nd to approximately 200 people throughout the day. Since our opening, our opening, numerous classes and workshops have been offered, including art and pottery, dance classes, concerts, and special events, in addition to open studios by six artists and residents. In 2009, we had over 16,000 in attendance for our cultural arts programs, more than 650 volunteers that gave us over 4,500 hours of their time and efforts. The line graph shows that participation has drastically increased since 2016. In 2019, the events division facilitated 760 events that brought in over 125,000 people and generated more than $190,000 in revenue. 
the four different types of events offered include internal, rentals, weddings, and special events. A new program that began in early 2019, the Ambassador Program, transported over 12,000 people around downtown Greer. The bar graph on the screen reflects the number of passengers transported each month. When it opens later this year, the New Kids Planet will greet visitors with new sidewalks, pathways, music and misting areas, zip lines, hillside slides, and a new parking lot on the east side of the facility. There will also be a new walking trail around the perimeter of the playgrounds with six outdoor physical fitness workstations. An enchanted forest theme will feature colorful play structures that will provide accessibility to everyone and focus on inclusiveness. Personalized items that were part of the original Kids Planet are currently stored at the Operations Center and will be incorporated into the new into the renovated playground area. The Cultural Arts Division is spearheading the planning process for this venture. In our Recreation Division, we offered a total of 41 programs and hosted over 7,100 participants. The Division oversees general programming, including after school and summer camps, special events, facility rentals, senior citizen programming, and instructional classes and programs. New programs for 2019 included K-9 nose work training, Morse code class and pickleball instructional clinics. Our ham radio and Morse code classes had over 5,000 subscribers with thousands of views and reviews on each video from people around the world and it continues to grow. There was a total of 429 rentals which included our recreation centers, buses, kids planet shelters and mobile stage. Featured in the bottom photo is our egg, annual Agtastic Easter event. In 2019, we had over 2,200 people enjoy another great event with added vendors and plenty of games, activities, inflatables, and of course, egg hunts. The Grounds Maintenance Division is responsible for 19 parks and 12 facilities that make up approximately 150 acres. Preparing athletic fields, ensuring playground safety, event setups, project management, and coordinating community projects are some examples of their responsibilities. The pie chart shown in this slide reflects the number of staff hours that our grounds division dedicated to the events listed. The bar graph illustrates the number of times athletic fields were prepared last year, a total of 1,652. In total, our department offered 179 programs, generated over $470,000 in program and rental revenue, we had over 16,000 registered participants, 991 volunteers that gave 12,016 hours of their time, and we currently have 21,213 social media followers. We obtained over $300,000 in grants, $30,650 in sponsorships, and in-kind donations totaled $5,000. This list represents some of our highlighted projects from 2019, and I'm going to go over each one briefly. Uh, repairs were made to water damaged wood rafters and the stability of the roof was reinforced by adding steel supports to the trusses at the Cannon Center. The floor for the main space and classrooms were repainted and the gymnasium lights were replaced with dimmable LED lighting. Victor Park received several upgrades in 2019. New ADA accessible vanities and sinks were installed and a new epoxy resin floor was poured in the restrooms. Two 10-ton HVAC units were installed in the gymnasium and flower beds, Bermuda sod, and irrigation were installed at the side of the gymnasium facing Lime Street. Trees Greenville and the Parks and Recreation Department partnered to plant maple and crepe myrtle trees around the walking track and the ball field area. Shade structures were installed and provided much needed shade in the seating areas at Country Club Road Park and Victor Park. A free shuttle service was launched in January to facilitate uninterrupted visitor access to the downtown businesses during the Streetscapes project. My Tracks GPS, a smartphone app, features a map of the city of Greer and highlights shuttle locations and parking lots. The new app allows users to request a shuttle pickup when in the downtown area. The armored personnel mortar carrier, known as the APC, was on display at Veterans Park, was removed on February the 28th for refurbishment and reinstalled on April the 22nd. This endeavor was at no charge to the city of Greer. The APC was blasted, primed, and painted. The tracks were removed and reinstalled after the painting was completed, 
and the rear door and ramp were welded shut as a safety precaution. Renovations to the Center for the Arts included a new roof, HVAC, plumbing, fire suppression system, security system, internet technology, and parking lots. Improvements for programming included large classrooms for pottery and art classes, rentable studios for local artists, rentable, uh, a theater that seats approximately 125 people, a formal lobby, and a new office space. The city was able to salvage the existing stage, which was an original part of the building. The surrounding park includes walking trails, park lighting, wayfinding signage, an amphitheater, rain gardens, a playground, and infrastructure that enables the park to host festivals and events. The entrance sign installations at Country Club Road Park and South Sugar Road Park were completed in August. The Center for the Arts received a new sign during renovations and the entrance sign at Victor Gym was repaired and repainted. An ADA sidewalk connecting the outdoor restroom facility and the upper tennis courts at Tryon Recreation Center was installed in the fall of 2019. At Century Park, an ADA sidewalk connecting the bridge to the parking lot was poured with curbing along the lower drive. The City of Greer partnered with the Greer Council of Garden Clubs to create a butterfly garden in Greer City Park. This beautiful area of Greer City Park was dedicated on April the 27th during our international festival in the memory of Nancy Welch, a local gardening enthusiast and member of the Greer Council of Garden Clubs. The City of Greer has the honor of being the only designated monarch city in South Carolina. The beautifully remodeled downtown area will become the newest park under the care of the Parks and Recreation Department. In addition to providing a more picturesque environment friendly to pedestrians and cyclists, this revitalization will allow the city's commercial center to be utilized for festivals and other events. The following is a list of our 2020 highlighted projects. Uh, Kids Planet renovation, streetscapes to become a downtown park, Greer Country Club acquisition, Turner Field accessible parking, Springwood Park ADA renovation, Turner Field and Victor Park restroom facilities, install a bocce ball court at Victor Park, as well as irrigation at Little Turner Field, and install barrier netting at South Super Road Park soccer fields and Country Club Road Park multi-purpose fields. I'd like to show a brief video, thanks to Sergeant Ballinger with the Greer Police Department and Jason Parker with WSPA Channel 7, who went out and took drone footage of some of our facilities. and. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it, it's really good.